she was just walking home in the dark on streets like this one. Sarah Everard's disappearance has rocked the country, leaving women everywhere thinking it could have been me. Women have been trying to reclaim the streets in the UK since the 1970s. Clearly, it hasn't worked. So what now? Also tonight, how has George Floyd's death changed policing in his hometown of Minneapolis? Yeah, think of a small child who yeah. all they hear are gunshots. Yep. All they see is yellow tape. Yep. Their cousins are killed, their dads are killed, their uncles are killed. And we remember the man who created the cassette and changed how we listen forever. Hello, good evening. Tonight, we are thinking of Sarah Everard, the 33-year-old woman who went missing walking home in South London eight days ago. It comes after a serving Met police officer was arrested on suspicion of Sarah Everard's kidnap and murder. And tonight, it has merged that the Met has referred itself to the police watchdog over how it handled allegations that the officer indecently exposed himself four days before she disappeared. Today, Sarah's family paid tribute to her, saying, she brought so much joy to our lives and have appealed for more information to help solve this terrible crime. They said Sarah was bright and beautiful, a wonderful daughter and sister. She was kind and thoughtful, caring and dependable. Sarah's disappearance has sent shockwaves throughout the UK, with many women taking to social media to express their distress, but also their own personal strategies to cope with the fear of attack when they walk alone at night or even in the day. But what needs to change to make women feel less afraid on our streets? Some are arguing women have done all they can and enough is enough. Tonight we explore whether this could be the moment to finally shift the dial on women and girls' safety. <laughs> 